Alrighty, how's it going YouTube? How's it going stackers? Welcome back. Another video. Right now it's a little overcast. It's actually got really cool. It's about to, about to pour here in a second. Uh, the cold front is coming in. As you guys might see from the title, I'm going to be talking about eBay sales and why eBay sales are down for these summer months and maybe what we can do to kind of make up for that and make sales elsewhere or even maybe invest more money when times are slow. We will jump into that pretty soon. Uh, what we have going on here on the porch still got this welcome sign welcome caboose picked this up a couple couple days ago at a at a yard sale uh, for a dollar a lot of people a lot of people enjoyed it some people didn't it kind of is what it is I don't know what I really want to do with this thing I only paid a dollar and then when I move it I do have this I have a bunch of holes on the exterior of my house I have a red squirrel that's chewing away and we have mama duck over there which i've now swapped out swapped out with the old frog ski uh that I picked up at the yard sale also for a dollar it's like the concrete bobblehead frog uh put them inside i'll show you it's right here he sits there right in the hallway right when you walk in more house repairs going on over there i got the sunglasses gotta cut some grass soon do some weed whacking he's a great piece I usually don't keep much for myself that I pick up at yard sales. Usually I just sell everything. But I will say one thing. That's one of the things we will touch on here. And try to figure out how to make up for these slow eBay sales. While I put you guys down. And we'll do a little talk about slow eBay sales. Yeah, slow eBay sales. A lot of people are probably wondering what's going on. My eBay sales have completely dropped off these past couple weeks. The past couple days. What you can possibly do to kind of make up for that. So for this video... We're going to just talk about eBay. We're going to talk about online reselling. It is Sunday. Usually on Sundays, I do not do any videos. It's my day off from YouTube. But I thought, you know what? We're going to try something a little bit different. Maybe Sunday will be actually like Sunday to sit down and we talk about online reselling. We talk about something that's going on in the buy and sell world, the scrap world, whatever it might be you guys might be curious about. So today we're going to be talking about eBay sales and why they are down and what we can possibly do about that. So to start off with number one, I would definitely recommend with these slow eBay sales to realize, hey, look, it's the summer. People are doing other things with their times. Don't stress out. Don't worry about it. Come fall, come winter, these sales are definitely going to pick back up. I can guarantee it. There's always like a two-week stretch during the summer where everyone's on vacation. They're doing other things. They're mowing their lawn. They're you know doing all these different things. You have more sunlight. You can do more adventures. Uh, these time, this time is not used you know to sit down in front of the computer you know and try to do online retail therapy this time is spent outside and a lot of people just really aren't inside it's the summer don't stress the sales will come back up understand it is a seasonal thing think about how many hours people spend in front of the computer in front of television in the fall and winter when daylight ends at 4 35 o'clock now ends at 8 39 o'clock so you have three to four more hours of daylight and three, you have three to four more hours that you can do outside stuff. People are doing outside stuff. It is what it is. Don't stress. It will come back around. That is the number one reason I think eBay sales are down. Um, you know, and what can you kind of do to kind of make up for this? Well, let's look at something else. Where are you selling your products? Are you selling just on eBay? If you're selling just on eBay, online reselling, online selling is now brought in through a variety of sources, a variety of sites. Try Facebook Marketplace for bigger items. If you want to get rid of your treadmill, or you want to get rid of a bike, or a dish set. Maybe somebody around you is looking for a dish set for Thanksgiving, or another holiday. Try that out. Try Facebook Marketplace. Um, you know, you might take less money, but consider there's no fees involved with selling on Facebook. There's no fees with selling on Craigslist. Try those avenues. If you want to do more online reselling, try Poshmark if you're into clothes. Try Etsy if you're into vintage stuff. Even though Etsy and Poshmark and Amazon, well, Amazon's pretty good. Uh, Etsy and Poshmark aren't the king of reselling or the king of selling or buying, you're more likely to get a better deal on Poshmark than you are on eBay. I think eBay, people look on eBay and whatever it sells for seems to be like the absolute price and that's what everyone asks. Poshmark, it's a t-shirt, it's a sweatshirt, it's something of something, it's a, it's a dress. They name the brand, they name the size, it doesn't worry about it. it's this pattern, it's that pattern. It's like a flat price kind of around the board. Etsy as well is a site that I kind of sell a lot of stuff on. 
And to be honest, I make more money on Etsy than I do on eBay. I can ask anywhere between like 40% to 60% more on Etsy than I can on eBay. People don't go on Etsy and type in, so I sell clothes for example, and let's say we take a vintage New York Rangers t-shirt. eBay, there might be like 100 to 150. People wanna look at this side, they wanna look at that size, they wanna look at this pattern, this print. On Etsy, people just type in vintage New York Rangers t-shirt, and that's what you get. You get a bunch of t-shirts. You don't get a 1992, a 1994, a 1987. It's just a vintage t-shirt. You can put whatever price you want. There's really not that much research. And because of that, you kind of can get more money because it's not a simple price point for each individual item. Try different avenues to sell it. Try Facebook, try Etsy, try Poshmark. Now is a great time to kind of venture out and try different avenues to sell at. eBay sales are down. You can try different things. Across the board, maybe sales might be down. Personally for myself, last night I had 12 Etsy sales overnight. Usually I average three to five, I had 12. eBay, I had one, usually I have around two or three. Things are bouncing all the way around, I can't figure it out, uh, but try different avenues. It might be a good time to you know, kind of venture out. Another thing that I kind of want to touch about is if you have dead inventory. Dead inventory costs money, right? As we have a butterfly. Dead inventory costs money. A lot of people like to think at the surface level, let me think dead inventory costs money. What does that mean? It costs space. It costs space. It costs listing fees. You know, if you think about it, you list something 10 times over the course of a year and it costs you 30 cents to list it, you lost $3 on that one item. Now, if you're only selling that item for 7 bucks or 10 bucks, you lost $3. $3 for a $10 item is actually a pretty big amount considering how much the fees are on eBay. You know, if you have to pay eBay fees and PayPal fees on a $10 item, you're really looking at $7 or $8 after everything's all said and done. Think about the fees on your shipping. Add another three bucks in there, you only make $4. That's if you got the item for free. Is your time really worth $4? So really try to get rid of this old inventory, flush it out, get rid of it, put a box aside, put something, you know, a, a row of stuff that you want to take to the flea market or maybe have your own yard sale. Make some money back. Make a couple hundred dollars, make 100, 200, 300, whatever it might be. Make that money back and invest that product, the products that you haven't been able to sell for the last year or two years, into new products, into products that you can sell. Maybe you'll make less of a profit. Maybe you'll have to pay a little bit more, but you'll make money. And that's one thing that a lot of people fail to do is kind of understand that, hey, look, there's dead inventory. Get rid of it. Absolutely, just get rid of it. Do whatever you have to do, even if you have to donate it. It's costing you money just by the space and the listing. It's not necessarily how much you're going to sell it for, but if you can really even sell it. And I, I think there's a lot of things that just don't sell. Don't lose the money, make money. That's the whole point of kind of buying and selling is you have to make up for it somewhere else. Lastly, what I like to talk about is a great time to invest. So you might not be making a lot of money, but now is an excellent time to invest into your business. It's an excellent time to invest into new products. Look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a fleece. It's kind of cold. I don't really need to wear a fleece, but I just bought this about a month ago. I only paid $20 for this. This usually sells for like 80 to 100 come fall and winter. Why did I pay only $20 for it? You can sit here and say, well, maybe someone listed it wrong, but it's the middle of summer. Who's wearing a fleece in 95 degree temperature? No one. This is a terrible time to sell winter clothes. It's a terrible time to sell jackets, terrible time to really sell anything winter related, skis, snowboards, snowboarder goggles, whatever it might be, now is a terrible time to do it. So buy it, buy it up, buy everything winter related, go to the thrift store, you'll see jackets are incredibly cheap now. Come fall, winter, they're gonna be there for 12 or $15 for a jacket. And you know what, you come back a week later and it's gone, because someone bought it because it's a season that people wear that stuff. Now you can go to the thrift store, middle of summer, no one's buying it, it's $4, it's $5, it's $6, it's half off, it's been there for three or four weeks. Now is a perfect time to invest, especially if you're in clothes. It's a great time to invest in these winter products. It's a great time to kind of invest into different things. Uh, going to rummage sales or flea markets or thrift stores, there are skis everywhere. If you can familiar, familiarize yourself with skis and ski boots, now is an excellent time to buy this stuff uh, because you know what? In about four or five months, this stuff's going to be in demand. I can guarantee you the winter is going to be the winter. It's not going to be you know 100 degrees this winter. I can guarantee you that. If there's going to be cold days, it's going to snow, you know, unless you're in the south or in a different country and it doesn't snow. But, you know, if you're in the north or 
uh, north of uh, the Mason-Dixon line. I don't know. It's going to snow. I can promise you it's going to snow. It might even snow in Florida, uh, you know, whatever it might be. But it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. This stuff will sell. Invest now. Invest in your product. Might be slow. Now is the perfect time to buy. So I know this video has been a little bit different. I did kind of want to talk on this. I know uh, a lot of people have been trying to pick my brain and talk more about you know, buying and selling and what it might be different ways and different strategies to maybe make more money or make more of a profit. I think these are kind of the key components, I think, personally, uh, to do about summer sales being down. I think they are down across the board, but, you know, you kind of have to push forward. Maybe take a week off. Might be a perfect time to take a week off. I know a couple of YouTubers last year when I was watching them to try and gain some more knowledge on reselling, used about two weeks to just take the week off. Go out, adventure, vacation, because sales are down. It happens. We'll move forward. It might be a new series for Sunday to be just talking about whatever it might be, brainstorming. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.